The movie begins in Arctic, where many snowy animals reside. Among them is a bear named Norm, who dreams of becoming the ruler of this land. However, he struggles with hunting and fails to catch his prey. How will he achieve his goal? Norm continues to pursue a seal, with everyone eagerly watching to see if he will succeed. After a long and arduous chase, Norm finally catches the seal. But instead of devouring it, he shows mercy. The hunters urge him to eat quickly, but Norm refuses. Surprisingly, we discover that Norm not only understands human language, but can also speak like a human. This sets him apart from other bears in appearance and behavior. Norm is not entirely pleased with this uniqueness and often questions his grandfather about it. His grandfather's response is always the same. You are special and different, and with that comes the responsibility to protect all bears from humans. Norm deeply loves his grandfather, but he mysteriously disappeared many years ago, leaving no trace. As Norm snaps back to reality, his brother arrives. Together, they entertain the visitors with their antics, bringing joy to everyone. In return, the tourists offer them plenty of fish to eat. Although Norm dislikes this routine, he feels compelled to participate. He sings songs and dances, captivating the audience. One man even suggests that Norm should be in movies, but Norm isn't too keen on the idea. Anyway, Norm now visits a friend of his grandfather, who happens to be a snowbird. During their conversation, Norm discovers that his grandfather is not actually deceased, but rather missing. This bird also said that some people speculate that your grandfather went fishing, but I believe that he is in danger due to a massive conspiracy orchestrated by humans. Now you have disappeared in order to stop this conspiracy and protect us. While discussing this, the snowbird shows Norm a house that has been constructed on his grandfather's land. He explains that if they don't take action, more houses will be built and their own house will be at risk. This raises the question of where they will go if that happens. As a result of all these revelations, Norm begins to suspect that humans are involved in his grandfather's disappearance. He decides to approach the king of the area, who is currently Norm's father, to share his concerns. However, his father dismisses Norm's claims and advises him to stay away from the houses, stating that the house is merely for human research purposes. Disheartened by his father's response, Norm walks away sadly. Just then, his friend approaches him and reassures him that his thoughts are valid. He encourages Norm to have faith in himself and fight not only for his own sake, but for everyone's. Inspired by his friend's words, Norm decides to meet his grandfather's friend once again. However, during their conversation, he witnesses a large group of people arriving for a commercial shoot. This sight angers Norm, and he takes action by disrupting the shoot. Everyone flees in fear, except for a girl who happens to be the director. She refuses to leave without capturing the commercial because it holds the key to her daughter's future. Her boss has promised that if she successfully completes the commercial, her daughter will be admitted into a prestigious school. This young girl spots Norm in the distance and contemplates filming him. However, fate intervenes as the ice beneath her feet cracks, putting her life in danger. Norm, being the kind-hearted bear that he is, witnesses the perilous situation and rushes to her rescue. Little did the girl know, she had been recording the entire incident on her camera, capturing Norm's heroic act. Eager to share this incredible footage, she shows it to her boss, who had plans to develop houses in the Arctic for profit. Inspired by the video, her boss comes up with a brilliant idea. He instructs Vera to find an actor who resembles Norm so they can create an advertisement featuring him. Norm and his friends overhear this conversation, thanks to this bird who is friend of Norm's grandfather. The bird suggests that Norm should take on the role himself, as it would give him an opportunity to protect his Arctic home from human interference. Intrigued by the idea, Norm secretly accompanies the girl to New York. However, her boss's people are hot on their trail, determined to capture Norm. Miraculously, Norm manages to evade them and escapes. As he emerges from hiding, he is astonished to find a crowd of people dressed as polar bears, all vying for the same acting opportunity. Norm decides to join them, hoping to secure an interview and prove his worth as an actor. One man mistakes Norm for a human, 
praising his realistic bear costume and expressing confidence in his chances of winning the audition. He assures Norm that he will find some other place to play the role of a bear. The scene shifts, revealing the director girl now conducting interviews with the bear-shaped humans. However, none of them perform convincingly enough until Norm bursts into the room, bellowing loudly. The director immediately recognizes that Norm is the only one capable of fulfilling their vision. Then the director brings him to her boss. The boss is also fond of Norm, but he soon discovers that Norm is not a human, but a real bear. This is because Norm smells like a real bear. Norm takes the director to a hotel for lunch, while the boss goes to a secret location where another bear is locked up. However, this bear is not just any bear, it is the Norm's grandfather who is kidnapped by the boss. The boss did this because the bear was preventing him from achieving his goal of building a house in that place. The boss believes that Norm called his accomplice here so that they can team up and ruin his plan. He knew all along what he was up to. After saying all this, he then threatens to kill the bear. The boss goes to a hotel with a gun. Norm is already sitting there, but he remains calm while everyone else gets scared. Norm approaches the boss and takes the gun from his hand. He then gives it to the chef. When the chef shoots the gun, it is the boss who becomes unconscious, not Norm. Everyone present is amazed by Norm's cleverness and praises him a lot. They all become fans of Norm. Later, it is revealed that someone had recorded the entire incident. They upload the footage of Norm's bravery on a channel, which greatly increases the channel's ratings. Impressed by Norm's abilities, the boss apologizes to him and even gives him a beautiful house to live in. Upon arriving at the house, Norm smells that there is another bear like him there. He wants to investigate, but there are cameras in the room, monitoring his every move. However, Norm comes up with a brilliant idea. He leaves the house and finds the man who had auditioned as a bear in the office. Norm tells the man that he can live in his grand house instead of him. He assures the man that he will have delicious food and lots of fun there. Hearing this, this man agree with Norm. This makes half of Norm's work easier, but there is still a lot left to do. Norm is also feels that if there is a bear here, it can only be his grandfather. He believes that the boss will be behind catching him. Norm goes to his boss's room and starts searching for anything related to his grandfather, hoping to find some information. Meanwhile, a small bear companion accidentally opens a secret door. As soon as the door opens, Norm realizes that his grandfather must have been kept there. However, he doesn't want to go there himself because he might be seen by the boss. Instead, he sends his three little friends to reassure his grandfather that Norm has come to save him. To his surprise, his grandfather tells them to tell Norm to save his house in the Arctic, not him. The story continues, and we see that Norm is being prepared for something. The company had chosen him for a specific purpose, and now he had to fulfill that purpose. His task was to convince people to buy houses in the Arctic from the company. However, Norm didn't actually want to do this. He notices that there is a commercial shooting happening during this advertisement. The director's daughter is also present, and as soon as she sees Norm, she realizes that he is not a human but a real bear. She understands that his intentions are different from what is being portrayed on TV. Norm doesn't want people to buy houses in the Arctic. Instead, he wants them to stay away and only visit. After understanding all of this, the girl advises Norm not to do anything for now. She suggests that he first win the hearts of the people, and when everyone starts listening to him, he can reveal the boss's entire plan to them. Norm was highly impressed with the girl's plan. He was eager to follow her lead, but maybe the boss was more intelligent than her. Initially, Norm gained a large following of fans. However, just as he was about to explain to the people that buying a house in the Arctic was a bad idea, the boss silenced him by turning off his microphone and played a fake recording where Norm advocated for buying houses in the Arctic. It was all a deceitful act. The truth was that the boss was not authorized to construct houses in the Arctic yet. His actions were illegal. After the show, Norm felt not only saddened by the fact that his people would lose their homes, but also by the boss's manipulation of the truth. Observing Norm's sadness, the director invited him to her house for dinner, where he encountered the director's daughter once again. She presented him with another idea. 
why not expose the boss's secret to everyone? Since they were not yet permitted to build houses in the Arctic, revealing this information would deter investors from funding the project, preventing its completion. Norm was intrigued by this girl's idea. He abandoned his work and going to join the investors. Finally, when he obtained the investor's car, he entered it and showed everyone a video of the boss attempting to bribe a counselor for permission to build houses in the Arctic. However, this evidence proved futile. The investors were aware of the boss's deception and no longer wished to collaborate with him. They confronted the boss, demanding a full refund of their money. Unfortunately, the boss had cunningly crafted a contract that prevented him from returning the funds. In response, the boss made a phone call instructing his people to rectify all the constructed houses in the Arctic. He also ordered the killing of the bear that had been trapped with them for many years, which happened to be Norm's grandfather. After rescuing his grandfather from the clutches of the boss, Norm and his grandfather were determined to save their homes. The boss, who had been keeping a close eye on Norm, was now left dumbfounded by Norm's clever trickery. Norm had managed to deceive someone else in his place, leaving the boss completely fooled. However, the boss soon discovered the truth and captured both Norm and his grandfather, rendering them unconscious and placing them on a plane. His sinister plan was to eliminate the two bears in one fell swoop. But just as the plane took off, Norm's loyal friends who had accompanied him managed to open the plane door. In a daring escape, Norm and his grandfather plummeted from the plane, landing safely in the sea below. Although they survived the fall, they now found themselves stranded in the vast ocean. However, their luck quickly turned around as they spotted the ships carrying their homes to the Arctic. Norm and his grandfather devised a plan to separate the houses from the ships, ensuring their destruction at sea and preventing them from reaching the Arctic. With great determination, they successfully carried out their plan, freeing all the houses from the ships. Unfortunately, amidst the chaos, Norm's grandfather went missing. Meanwhile, when the boss discovered that all his houses had sunk before reaching the Arctic, he was met with a devastating shock. To make matters worse, the investors, who had been deceived by the boss, exposed his secrets throughout the city, sealing his impending downfall. The scene shifts and we see Norm once again, having reached the Arctic. He and his companions gather to share the tale of their heroic mission and how they managed to save their homes. However, there is still no news about Norm's missing grandfather. All the animals in the Arctic were really proud of Norm today. But even though everyone was happy, Norm himself was not, because he lost his grandfather again. Then surprisingly, his grandfather came back to the Arctic. When Norm saw him, he was overjoyed. His grandfather started telling stories about Norm's bravery and intelligence to everyone. He said, I am also proud of Norm today. I am really happy with Norm. That's when he announced that Norm would be the king of the Arctic. All the animals were thrilled to hear this news. And that's how the movie had a happy ending. I hope you all enjoyed it and stay with us for the next one. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel.